Thank you for tuning in. Today's devotion is for August 1st. The scripture states, Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that you may be healed. The effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. James chapter 5 and verse 16. If you have given offense to your friend or neighbor, you are to acknowledge your wrong and it is her duty freely to forgive you. Then you are to seek the forgiveness of God, because the sister whom you wounded is the property of God, and in injuring her you sinned against her Creator and Redeemer. The case is not brought before the priest at all, but before the only true Mediator, our great High Priest, who was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin, and who is touched with the feeling of our infirmities and is able to cleanse from every stain of iniquity. True confession is always of a specific character and acknowledges particular sins. They may be of such a nature as only to be brought before God. They may be wrongs that should be confessed before individuals who have suffered injury through them or they may be of a general kind that should be made known in the congregation of the people. But all confession should be definite and to the point, acknowledging the very sins of which you are guilty. Confession will not be acceptable to God without sincere repentance and reformation. There must be decided changes in the life. Everything offensive to God must be put away. This will be the result of genuine sorrow for sin. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we are so grateful and so thankful that we are still here. It is now August. Time seems to be moving so quickly. And yet time... <laughs> is dragging slowly for some because there is some dear lord that desire to see their loved one once again those who have gone to sleep and are waiting jesus soon return there's family members who want to to meet back up with loved ones who have gone to sleep in christ and so for them time is going by slowly Father, I pray that you will help us to see why time has prolonged for so much. Because you are giving people the opportunity to get to know you, to give their hearts and minds over to you. Not because you are this controlling God, but because you are a God of love and you desire for people to experience your love. Father, we have so much issues with each other at times. And when we truly look, as the devotion said, look at the next person as your daughter or as your son, our relationships with each other would improve. Help us to have a heavenly mindset. Help us to have a Christ-like mind. As your scripture says, let this mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus. Help us to have the mind of Christ. Forgive us, dear Lord, please. Help us to surrender and submit to your Holy Spirit. Help us to be about your business. We thank you for your encouragement. We thank you for your love. And we ask that you will help us that when we sin, when we transgress your law, when we break your law, help us to not make excuses, but help us to seek your forgiveness, to seek to change our wrong habits simply by surrendering and allowing your Holy Spirit to change us. In this Christian journey, it makes no sense to play games. Help us to surrender. Help us to pray. Help us to be willing to be changed. Thank you for your love. We ask that you will be with our families. 
be with our friends and help us to pray individually, pray specifically about the situations that's going on around us and within our own personal lives. Thank you once again for your blessing is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.